Ellie, I should know the location of their base soon. That's great, Chase. What's holding you up? My contact in Rex's gang wants me to do something up at the observatory first. But you could give Natalia the good news. If Rex has her dad, their base is where he'll be. Well, I'll try, but I just got her answer machine. I think she's sick of me reminding her to walk my dog. I'll call her myself later then. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. But, yeah, I was just trying to stand on top of that guy's head. It doesn't, it doesn't exactly work. So you can't stand on people's heads, unfortunately enough. Although it is very fun and entertaining. Uh, uh, Enberg. Oh, there's another one of my uh, favorite vehicles, pretty much. And it's a fairly stylish color, too. Uh, this is a roadblock. Please roadblock. Everybody stop. Stop your vehicles and get out with your hands up, and we're gonna also test you for drugs and alcohol. This is an emergency. Yeah, Lat Lantos. Let's see, where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to, like, where is this observatory? Oh, wow, I don't think I've ever been to that portion before of the map. It's actually fairly close, though, so I mean... Oh! While I'm here, I uh, feel the need to do this as well. Let's see, what is... Stunt wrap? Sure, why not? The more stunt wraps, the better, because if there's any races around, then I need them. And that actually works very well for me now when I'm wearing my construction suit. Everybody stay out of the way, I'm a construction worker. Wait, what, what was that that I just got? Was I just like... Some sort of Inuit person? There we go, now I can actually take out the drill. For some reason I couldn't, I don't know why. It's very strange, very strange indeed. But yeah, this this vehicle I probably am one of the best at driving as well, so I I'd say this is oh wow. This is this is an interesting way to get through uh the city. Let's see what's over here. Pretty much nothing. And my car is destroyed. Oh well, because I can just do this. Because this is the other thing I was planning on building, I guess. Even though I'm going in the complete opposite direction of where I want to go. I totally meant to do this. I totally did. But still, because it was... I, I thought that that other, like the stunt ramp, was one of these call-in points. So, yeah, <laughs> that was that was a little bit embarrassing. Not not really. Because I have no shame. Do you have no shame, sir? I, actually, no, no, I don't. Now that you ask. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the classic green. Because, as I said before, some cars and vehicles are just meant to be in a certain color. Just like this. Oh, yeah. Although that, the, that color that I did, the color of the car that I did steal of the Lantos was pretty sweet, I gotta say. Wasn't quite as good as this one, though, I'd say, though. Because the, uh, the yellow and green, the, like, buttered celery car... That's always good. Everybody loves their buttered celery. And that was my own version of a stunt ramp that I just had to go off of. <laughs> if you just go off a little bit of a lip on the road, then... Uh, oh, what is this place? I've never been here before. Like, Orion? wonder if there's gonna be some sort of, like, constellation... ...stuff over here dealing with it. Okay, although I really do want to go to the carnival, I'd say that is for another day. It's the most important thing for right now is I'm a man on a mission, and I did not know that was something that I couldn't get through. <laughs> Apparently I have to color some palm trees. So I guess brown is useful. So is uh, smashing into things. But also, for some reason this just made me think of is that they need to make another LEGO Racers game. Because another LEGO Racers game would be amazing. Especially if you just, like, you make your own vehicle, like in the N64 version. Although that make your own vehicle thing was a bit to be desired, I guess. Because, I mean, I didn't do very well for making anything. It looks it looks pretty bad. I made, like, one, like, how I make it in real life. It's just, like, like four squares and some right. wheels. Rex wants us to steal the telescope out of the observatory. Yeah, Rex what? does love, um... 
astrology? Ha! <laughs> it ain't for Rex. It's something for the old man, ain't it? Right. What? The old man. Well, what are you waiting for? You got a pneumatic drill from that construction place, right? Use that! All right. Well, I, I think that... Do I, can I smash this thing up as well, or can I drive it? What is... What is this for? Oh, I think... Oh, this is for the telescope, I think, when we take it out. But can't I just smash this just, like, with my fists? Yeah, I can, you but... You believe in astrology, then? I think this is supposed to be but faster. Yeah, that definitely is Pisces. faster. I... I don't get it. I don't... I don't know anything about astrology, though, anyway. Or anything, like, of that sort. But I think this is probably why I got this ability last, because... The construction worker's OP, man. He's so OP. Great! I'll drive the truck around back! Yeah, you do that. I'll just, uh, fix whatever's in the front here, because I don't know what that is, but there's... There's an electrician box. And when there's an electrician box, it's time for construction worker time. Now I gotta fix the crate. <laughs> Redundant. I may have damaged it on the way up here. Keep an eye out for company. And if you Ooh. see any, deal with them. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's a one way of fixing a crate. It's just like fixing a VCR or something like that. You just punch it. Uh, let's see, what should I... I'll be a spaceman for one fighting. Because spacemen are the best in uh, all the sorts of combat. And Mortal Kombat, of course. I don't know why, but uh, Mortal Kombat is... Uh, it's dealing with space. Or something like that. <laughs> oh, nice. Key. Wow. You've been practicing, Jimmy? Anyway, I got this hunk of junk all fixed up. We gotta get the observatory's roof open, because I doubt that telescope is gonna fit through the front door. Oh, I think that maybe I'm supposed to be, like, a more, even more disguised, because, like, this is, like, the official, like, Rex Fury gang. Like, this isn't even for Vinny, I don't think, anymore. Fix up that fuse box real good. It's wired into the yeah. dome. Oh. Don't worry about that. I always have uh, all the ways of fixing things. It's the same as uh, your way of fixing things as well. Just smashing. Hey, you done it! They had to have that epic music there. Is get the telescope oh, man. onto the back of that truck, and we're out of here, man. Go on. And that's get all we crane. needed to do with the crane. I'm pretty sure. So that, I guess that would make sense. We just bring it. We get a crane from a construction yard, just so then we can get all the way up here and uh, grab uh, one thing. The most now important thing, of the course. Back of the truck, facing backwards. That way you can see any cops following you from a mile away. Nice. <laughs> okay, now get that in the That might truck. work. Yeah. Okay. It depends on how flat the city is. Because if it's anything like Winnipeg, IRL, Winnipeg is like the flattest city I've ever seen. So I mean, you could probably see somebody quite far with a telescope like that, you know. But this place has too much uh, bumps in the road, I would say. I bet we're gonna get chased down by cops right now, aren't we? Yeah. How would they know? <laughs> we're, we're just carrying a giant telescope. That's perfectly normal. In my opinion. Maybe we're just uh, taking it to uh, a new point of interest. Follow Eddie Jojo? I wonder, like, I think this is actually the guy that, like, we uh, tortured with ice cream, possibly. That also, that always works. Also, was there a button to look behind me? I don't remember. I don't think there is. Oh, no, 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 no. Can't cancel. Woo. Oh, no, you don't. Get run off the road. You don't deserve to be on the road. Oh, no. You don't deserve to be on the road. I Only I do, because I'm, I'm stealing things. It's important business. This is even better than, uh, what is, oh, wow. I wonder how, how, if this thing, yeah, this thing's gonna get damaged, I think. And, like, destroyed entirely. 
But this is even more than that uh, shipping wars. This is, that's how extreme this is. Please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. Yeah, just, just please be careful. Oh, nice. It's time to go off a jump. Oh, I didn't even get to do that manually. But that's probably a better thing because we all know how the worst new police vehicle worked. I flipped upside down, pretty much, when I went off of a ramp. Oh, well, it looks like all the cops are gone, which is always good. So this is basically home free at this point. Hey, it's the dojo that we're right next to. Maybe we can have some, uh, a quick bunch of karate lessons again. Or kung fu, that is. Because I know kung fu. If you are saying anything... <laughs> no, that does not work at all. If you say anything with the kung fu, you have to do it this way. Kung fu. Oh yeah, that was... I was also somebody who was, uh saying, like, online, like, the way that, like, this is the way you're supposed to say, uh, Wind Waker, that it's like, Wind Waker, Wind Waker, because, like, they have a, a U at the end of wind, and, like, you know, it was, it was pretty awesome. <laughs> Cause it's, because it's, that's, that's the way you're supposed to say the one that's for, uh, the Wii U, the HD version of Wind Waker, you know, Wind Waker. Okay, so now we're going inside of a tunnel. Are we gonna, like, go and... End up... Like, where are we supposed to go in with this thing? Maybe... Oh, Rex's base is totally dealing with the... The Bluebell Mine! And this thing looks very precarious. But it's totally the mine. It was all along. I... I knew it. Chapter 13. Secrets. All right, that's that's not very descriptive. Oh, we're just going to right into a special assignment then. Special assignment: disruptive behavior. I mean, I didn't expect to go straight into a special assignment as well. Like, new chapter, new assignment. I think this is like one of the last ones too. There's like, there must be like only a couple more assignments left. I know that. I think there's 15 chapters in this game, and this is like chapter 13, right? So, we're coming down to the wire. Soon, like, this this is like, uh, Rex Fury's moon base of, uh, it's like Dr. Evil, that's what I'm thinking right now. Because isn't, like, Austin Powers, didn't he go into, like, a little, like, place where he, like, the, the things open? And then they go to the moon? Yeah? I think that's what, I think I'm thinking of Austin Powers, right? Um... Richard Simmons, is that you? <laughs> and the final shipment. Just arrived. Uh... Excellent. All we need now is the password for the professor. Wow, this is definitely like Dr. Evil. I could stop anymore. There's a cat. Uh... No need. My men have finally secured the leverage we have been pursuing. Um, a boss. Oh, it's Forrest Blackwell. That's totally Forrest Blackwell. Blackwell's behind it all. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just funny. Uh, boss, your camera's There's at just the so wrong many, angle like, again. Real what? Realizations. Oh. <laughs> technology. And it's making your voice go funny. Ah, I'll call you later. Professor? That must be Professor Kowalski. <laughs> How lucky was I to overhear that, eh? That's the truck the imposter was driving. Uh oh, I think my cover's blown. He's gotta be here somewhere. Find him. Oh yeah, because I definitely was sneaking into this place then. <laughs> I hate you, elevator. <laughs> Why would that be an elevator feature? Because you never know when you have to... You never know when you have to get off of an elevator, so the elevator has to tell you specifically. Disembark! 
and exterminate while we're here. This is an injustice. I'll show you an injustice. Like this that game that people apparently liked. Tall dark stranger. What? <laughs> it's all about that as astrology. Ooh. Still, this is—I would say this is, is probably the most OP ability in the game, though. Oh, okay. No, I have to open this up first before I can smack the box. This place is very dangerous with their electricity. And what is? Okay, uh, I just want to play some basketball, though. Shoot some b-ball uh, upside the school, so then a couple of guys that were up to it, oh good will start and. Pushed me up around the neighborhoods. They, they made trouble in the neighborhoods. Whatever. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, okay. Let's. I wonder if this one I'll actually be able to get all, like the true stud hero thing. Because that was kind of sad that I didn't get that in the last mission. Oh, well. Um. Open up lockers because I can. Yeah, let, let's do this. Let's play some basketball. Uh, so I'm, good, I'm pretty good at this game, I still like to think. I like to think. Oh wait, that's, is that a purple stud? Okay, you know what I have to grab? It's a good thing I did go into this basketball hoop thing. Will that give me anything for the... That gave me absolutely nothing in the mission. Oh, uh, maybe... Oh, I guess maybe it did. Gave me a police badge. Yeah. Cause that's what that's what all police do when they're uh, trying to capture down some criminals. When they're catching the crims, you have to uh, play some basketball. And if you don't, you uh, will not get promoted. Many people d haven't read that in the official handbook of everybody that is a policeman, but that's why it's in the small print. It's the quick way of getting to the top. It's all about the basketball. Is this like that one game? I think like in uh, it's like that one game that's called like Indigo Prophecy or something like that, but it's like called Fahrenheit everywhere else in the world other than like the U.S. And you know they play basketball in that, and that's that's the way they solve criminals. Totally. Yes, they solve criminals. Oh wow. Yeah, I'd say this is definitely some sort of like uh, crazy uh, Doctor Evil type schemes here. And just like crazy amounts of, uh, it's like, well, just the classic evil person always has to have like a base like this, I would say. Oh, I have to be Rex Fury for that. Um, but I wonder if this is actually going to turn into a thing that like we're going to feel sorry for Rex Fury and they're just like, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to, to do all these bad things. It's totally the men in black. They're the ones who did everything. And then like. You know, from there, we just let Rex Fury free, and then he fights alongside us, and he's like a cop along with us. That's totally what's gonna happen. Yes, that's that's my ideas. Totally. Also, you know, because since I'm here, I have to smash everything. I'm just gonna, I should just keep this going at all times. You never know when he might need a pneumatic drill. Ah. Although you can't always move so fast with it. Oh, is this? Oh, they have this. Definitely one of those things to be skydiving from. Um, I gotta, I gotta be uh, wearing the appropriate suit. I'm just gonna be casually jumping off, possibly act like James Bond. Oh, oh no! Move forward, more. Over. This, this is, this is like Goldeneye, totally. Jumping off the dam. This time. Ooh. Yeah, I know what you mean. There's a massive fan blades. Just laser cannons. See these guys like before we know it, there's gonna be sharks with lasers on their heads. It's gonna be crazy. Oh, there's a blue uh, ring. Oh no! I bet this shaft just ends at a giant furnace. Well, I guess that's one way, maybe. That's that's the way that most shafts end. <laughs> Maybe as well. It, it, it was sort of like a Death Star trench run in a in miniature form. I think there though. A submarine, a 
that must be how they sneak most of the equipment in. Ooh. 